All right. So now we are going to add business logic to our battle station app. First, we are going to add a validation rule. Next, we are going to create a process builder and post to chatter and create a flow, no flow. No flow? Well, that's pretty easy, all right? So let's do this thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead to my playground. Go to your own playground. Don't go to my playground. <laughs> you can't. Go to your own playground and process. Let's make some process. No, validation rule. So first validation rule, object manager. We go to battle station. Validation rule here on the bottom. And make a new one. Boom. Then we check what are we supposed to do. For the rule name, enter inspectors must work overtime. That must be an order from the Dark Lord. Overtime. And then the formula itself, the bad data is this. If the name of the of the resource, oh, we're on the wrong object. Wrong object. Good thing I noticed that it's a resource, okay? Resource, not battle station. Resource object, fields, no, fields, validation rules, and then new. And then boom, okay? So inspector have to work over time. So it's a resource object there, okay? Don't go to battle station. So name, if the name of the resource is exhaust port inspector, the utilization have to be bigger than 1.5. If it's less than 1.5, means it's a bad data. Bad data get alerts, all right? That's how it works, you remember? Now that is the rule. This is the rule for the bad data. So if the name of the resource is exhaust port inspector and that the utilization is still lower than 1.5, then that's the bad data. If it's a bad data, what's the error message you want to bring up? The error message is here. No coffee breaks. It's slavery. Boom. Okay, so this is the message that's going to pop up. Check the syntax, make sure it's good. No errors found. So that's good. So I'm just going to save it. And this is already active here. Important. Save. Okay. We're done with the validation rule. Now scroll down, scroll down. Now process. We are going to make a new process. Fully operational battle station. Copy that thingy. Go here and go back to setup home. Process, process, process builder here. And let's make a new one. I'm going to make a new process builder. Hit the new button there. And paste fully operational battle station. Process starts when a record changes. Okay, save. The record change, then this will kick off. Now, this is probably battle station. I'm pretty sure. Battle station, when the record is created or edited. So if something changed, it's going to kick off. Okay, leave this as it is for now. And what is the criteria? The criteria when it's going to kick off is, we've done that part. Um, now fully operational. The red thing here, we want to copy. Now fully operational. So if the weapons status is changed and it's changed to what it's changed to fully operational then this process will kick off okay now the conditions are met if the weapons status here the fields weapons status at the bottom here if the weapons status is changed boom True, it's changed. True, it's true. It's true. It's changed. It's true, right? It's changed is true. <laughs> Add and 
change to what? The weapon status change to equals what? Fully operational. That is the trigger. It's changed to fully operational and we are going to update some record there and then post to chatter. All right. So I'm going to hit save at and update record. We want to update record at the bottom there. Update records. And then what do we call it? Update something. Update the status. So if it's changed, the status, battle station status is to complete there. Complete. So the action name is update status. Select the battle station record that started your process. Yes, sir. No criteria, just update the thing. The criteria is already defined here, right? It's already defined. So we just want to update the status to complete. Boom. And we're done. And we're done. And then we want to add another action, which is post to chatter. Post to chatter. And the action name would be post to chatter. This record, and I'm just going to copy this formula there. So, so the action name is post to chatter, post to um, this record, right? This record, post to this record, and copy this. Boom. Oh, come on, it's not copying correctly. And that's what I want. Yes, there. Boom. So this will show on here. Obliteration station. So if I change this to fully operational, well, it's already fully operational. Let's change this to not yet operational for now. So if I change that to fully operational, this will post to chatter here. Okay, that's what we want. And then change this status to completed, not green anymore. So that's done. I'm going to save that guy. And I'm going to activate. You have to activate that. Confirm. And then test it. Test it, dude. Test the process. Test, test, test. And then go here. And we are going to test it. We are going to obliteration station. Weapon status is fully operational. Boom. Completed and boom. Obliteration station is complete. Now witness the power of a fully armed and operational battle station. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it. We did it. Verify. What's next? Coming up next, create reports and dashboards. I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing. Bada. Boom. Come on. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.